Welcome to What's Now. I'm your host, Christine Napier. Thank you for tuning in today. We have a packed show for you. We are going to be talking about your health, DIY, spring projects, organizing your space, and more. But up first, I spoke with Chef Duran about how you can make the most out of your grocery shopping. Let's find out more. Supermarket stress is currently affecting the entire country, and according to the CDC, you should try to limit the amount of times you visit the store and shop for enough food to last an extended period of time. So it's important to plan your meals ahead of time and also to be flexible with your shopping list to prepare for missing ingredients. Today I'm talking with Chef George Duran to help provide us with essential information to make the most of our food during these times. Thanks, Chef Duran, for speaking with us today. Thanks for having me on, Christine. All right, how can we take the stress out of this entire process? Yeah, the first thing you want to do is make a list of the ingredients you need and pinpoint focus on that list, meaning don't go away and start wandering off in the aisles in the supermarket. Another thing to do is to make sure you look at how much space you have left in your freezer and your fridge before heading out. The last thing you want to do is come back with perishable items that don't fit in there. That's going to be a waste of ingredients. So what are some versatile ingredients and cooking staples that are really easy to use in different recipes? Yeah, one of the things I tell all my friends is to stick with frozen veggies. Bird's eye has quite a variety of them. May it be rice cauliflower or a medley of vegetables. Those frozen veggies are going to go in almost any recipe you want, and they're going to offer you veggies right there from the freezer. Another thing to have in your pantry are canned tomatoes. Hunts makes crushed tomatoes, diced tomatoes, the deep diced tomatoes. They're so versatile because they go in almost any recipe you want, and they taste great, too. What are some recipes we can make with those frozen vegetables and tomatoes? My go-to recipe is very simple. It's in a slow cooker, and it's kind of a breakfast casserole that kind of tastes like a quiche. It's literally taking the frozen veggies from bird's eye, popping it into the, uh, the slow cooker with some hash, or if you want some bacon or sausage or cheese, but put eggs in it. Let it slow cook seven to eight hours. When you wake up the next morning, there it is right there. It's like a quiche or breakfast casserole that can be eaten for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Wow, that sounds delicious. I, I'm ready to make it now. <laughs> what else can we do for other things that we can make that might last for multiple meals? Yeah, well, like I said, that casserole is great. You can make quiche. You can make uh, frittatas, for example. Those are things that can be eaten for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. But one of the things that my kids absolutely love are the nuggets. Still. They still want their chicken nuggets and their chicken fingers. So what I'm actually doing is taking some of the Hunt's crushed tomatoes, putting it on those nuggets or those chicken fingers, and then adding a little bit of cheese on top of it, back into the oven, letting it melt, and now you have some baked chicken parm on those nuggets, and they're eating it because, you know, they love their tomatoes. Oh, yeah, I'd eat that too. It sounds really delicious. Now, we want to make the most of every meal, but... What can we do for special occasions that really won't feel different from every day? Yeah, you want to be a little bit creative out there and do twists with the recipe. So, again, uh, my kids are involved with this. So when I make a brownie mix, let's say, from Duncan Hines, um, I put them inside the muffin tin pans, and I add a dollop of peanut butter inside each one of them because I know everybody has a lot of peanut butter in their pantry. You bake that up, and once it's baked, pop it into a plastic bag, throw it into the freezer, and whenever you want, you pop some out, throw it into the microwave for about 10 to 15 seconds, and you have fresh baked brownies whenever you want. Oh, these are great ideas, simple and easy and a lot of fun. Where can we get more information? Yeah, you can find a lot of recipes at readysetseat.com. Perfect. Well, thanks so much, Chef Duran, for talking with us today. Enjoy your cooking time and stay healthy. Thank you, Christine. Stay safe.